Hey there everybody, I'm Suzanne Nichols and I'm the founder of Quantum Academy and I'm also the author of this lovely novella, The Life and Times of Schrodinger's Cat, A Quantum Tale of Love and Entanglement. And it's based on the life of physicist Erwin Schrodinger, who of course is responsible for the iconic thought experiment Schrodinger's Cat. Much to the physicist's dismay, the cat is more popular and more well known and more remembered than he is. So my book is told from the perspective of this cat and his adventures to find his creator, his identity, and ultimately a name. And while I was writing the book way back in, tw in 2007, my intention was always, in fact, prior to even writing the book, was to write an animated short series um, about this story, this amazing adventure that I had created in my mind that the cat would find his creator, his identity, and a name. By adventuring through time and dimension, by virtue of initiation through none other than Dexy, the all-knowing squid, a superconducting quantum interference device. So back in 2019, I began the journey of creating the animated uh, series and was blessed and honored to work with um, an Emmy award-winning animator, Ron Noble of Nobletown Studios, who won his Emmy for being director of animation for none other than Rugrats. And not knowing what he was getting himself into, he agreed to be a part of this project. Uh, three years later in 2022, we finished a 12-minute animated pilot for a series. And in 2023, I entered many film festivals around the world and we won many international awards and selections in that process. We were selected in London, Paris, Rome, Athens. We received the award for best experimental film at the Children's International Film Festival. We screened at the New York, Independent, uh, the New York City Independent Film Festival. We were selected and screened at the 25 year running Sidewalk Film Festival out of Birmingham, Alabama, along with many, many others, including online festivals, Top Shorts, and Best Shorts, where we won Best Animation in both. Please visit our website, uh, the Life and Times of Schrodinger's Cat.com, if you'd like to see a full list of all of our accolades and awards and thus and such. So, uh, I'm here to let you know that I will be releasing for free our pilot on Christmas Day. It's my gift to the world and to the future and to the children of this world um, whom I think uh, sorely need a source of inspiration and laughter and focusing on lofty thoughts and lofty knowledge that transcend um, so much of what we see in the world today. Uh, so thereafter I will be launching a Kickstarter campaign because a 12 minute animated pilot does not do justice to what's in this book. Really, frankly speaking, I think 10 parts would be sufficient, but I'll settle for going with episode two and three at this point. So that's what our Kickstarter campaign will be targeted for. Um, animation is very expensive, it turns out, which I didn't know, <laughs> but now I do. And uh, so we'll be launching that Kickstarter campaign to raise funds to at least ex to continue the series, if not finish it. So once you've had a chance to see what we're releasing on Christmas Day, which I hope you will do, I hope you'll also keep an eye out for the Kickstarter campaign, which I expect to launch in mid to late January. And now that I have overcome my camera shyness, I'll be coming to you via this medium, which you wouldn't believe <laughs> what I went through and what it took to just set this up. Um, today it's been hilarious. But anyway, uh, I'll be coming to you on camera, um, keeping you posted about what's going on with our film, as well as I would like to produce an audiobook for Schrodinger's Cat without giving too many spoilers. And I'd also am looking forward to sharing some of the curriculum that I developed for Quantum Academy, which has its roots in physics and quantum physics in particular, but is always embedded within a historical context and always has a lovely component of literature 
Um, think H.G. Wells is the time machine. Think Jules Verne. Think Ted Chiang. His fabulous collection of short stories, stories of your story of your life, as well, which upon which uh, the film Arrival was based. So uh, I look forward to seeing more of you, and maybe you'll want to see more of me, but if not, I get it. And so until then, peace out.